Good morning, everybody. Hello. I hope y'all slept well. Welcome back to the world of the living. And in this morning's video, we are in my Outer Heaven Lounge. We're going to be doing some talking and discussing about those Mercury 2 PDA logs. But first, a little bit of ambience. Let's get a little bit of green up in here. Let's, uh, let's put some fuel in my bioreactor. Oh, there she goes. Oh, oh, look at that glow. Ain't she gorgeous. Let's have a seat. <sighs> nice. Alrighty. Those PDA logs. Ah. Uh, uh with the uh with the patch with the uh the seaworthy patch i believe was the one where they dropped the uh the pda logs for the mercury 2 i uh i was expecting and looking forward i was like oh man what are these new updates going to be they're 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 going to be fixing the snow fox i'm going to be tuning up the ice worm so many things that were on the menu for being polished up before the final release all oh, they're they're gonna add more plants they're gonna let us they're, they're gonna let us harvest more different types of seeds you know here comes that that polish work and then the bulk of that update was basically hey you know fully voice acted pda logs are in the game and then you know a little bit of scraps here and there we did this and that you know small little patch notes small pickings but the meat of that update was, hey, the PDA logs. That was, you know, and, and I'm sitting here and I'm kind of thinking and I'm wondering to myself, I'm like, uh-oh. They spent more time and more development, effort, and resources making more voice acting, more story. And I'm like, man, the story up to this point, the voice, act the voice acting itself is competent. I mean yeah you know they're they're reading from a script and it's competent but you, you know how much how how when you've got so very little to work with you know how in character can you get when your character is a one-dimensional uh cardboard trope the best vo voice actors in the world can only do so much with so little material to work with so i was pretty apprehensive i'm like man i was like oh man uh, the work the work that's been done isn't isn't what I was hoping. And then I had heard from somebody on the forums that they had went and found all the logs and they 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 basically said to sum it up, the writing was consistent, which means if you like the writing in the rest of the game, you'll like the Mercury 2 PDA logs. But if you've got a problem with the writing and the story in the rest of the game, then the Mercury 2 logs would be just as disappointing. So, whew, I, uh, I got a whole bunch of content, got some music videos, got, got basses, got new ideas, got new little bugs in Subnautica and in Below Zero, both games. But I wanted to get this out there before the, before the super duper final release. And oh yes, people, uh, there will be, there will be spoilers. So if you don't want to know, here's your A. Don't do it. Back off. See you later. Thanks for visiting. Uh, come back to Outer Heaven later, but we're about to have that discussion here. I'm going to get into the story. And uh, it, 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 I, had a, I had, a, had a little bit of an adventure finding all these PDA logs because I figured, let me play on my second data, my more recent data, right? You know, the, my second playthrough that I made on the Relics of the Past update. Surely, if any one of my two datas were going to have the logs in them, it would be my more recently, it, it would be my more recently made data, right? Wrong. But here's the thing. There were uh, the bow, the stern, and the detached thruster. I searched all three Mercury 2 wrecks. I built bases beside them so I wouldn't have to, because I don't use vehicles. I built bases beside the wreck so I could just sit there, post up, support myself, and make sure I searched every single inch. I found two PDAs. So I'm thinking, 
So I am finding these new PDAs. There is new voice acting. So surely there's more and I'm just not finding them. But then I, I searched every single... I mean, I did everything but basically open up the console commands and there were no more PDAs. I got confused. Went back on my old data. Went back to those same wrecks and lo and behold, I found the rest of the PDA logs. I have found nine Mercury 2 PDA logs. If you found more, hey, please let me know. I don't know where they're at. And uh, I'm going to be getting into those in one second. I want to have a little, uh, a little, little pre-word, uh, uh, a little preface, little, little wording before we go into it. I'm going to give my verdicts plain and simple. Then I'm going to go into each log and I'm going to play each log and give my critique on each log and then I'm going to wrap it up and give a little bit more context but uh I am not quite exactly sure I couldn't tell you with certainty exactly which one of the writers uh is responsible for these PDAs I know I, I believe Below Zero has three writers working for it currently working on the story Man, whoever wrote these PDA logs, did you even play Subnautica? And when, when I say that, I don't mean you jumped in the water and you got your wet, you got your feet wet achievement, and you're like, yeah, you swam around the safe shallows and you saw your first reaper, and you're like, okay, I'm qualified to write for this franchise. Did you actually play Subnautica? Did you read the PDA logs in that game? Did you follow the story? Because if if this is canon, if these Mercury 2 PDA logs are canon, it shits all over Subnautica. It, 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 the consistency, the plot holes, it's written by someone that does not come across as someone that knows what they're doing. Like, you, you're writing a story in, a, in an existing world and you're just breaking established rules and changing events I don't understand it it's it's oh man oh boy now uh, I'm going to start I'm going to actually get into these logs in my next video because I'm coming up on my 10 minute time limit but I've also listened to all 9 logs and I uh I wrote down the events that happened in each log and I formed my own timeline. So I have placed these logs in the order that I believe is um, canon. I say that word loosely when dealing with Blow Zero, but I believe that I have placed these logs in the chronological timeline, the proper order, the, the, the sequence of events there's one or two logs that really is like, I'm not sure this, this log could happen first or this one could happen first. That They seem interchangeable. But the majority of the logs do at least seem to adhere to its own timeline, even if it kind of doesn't adhere to below zeros, uh, to Subnautica's timeline, the 4546B story itself. And taking a peek at my PDA, my personal digital assistant. Do, do, boo, boo, boo. Logs and communications. Mercury suit logs. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh, man. That one snuck up on me. Bless me. Oh, shit. Uh, now, uh,. The order that they appear in your PDA log, that's not going to be the order that they're going to be read it. Oh, man. My allergies. I'm allergic to bullshit. I'm trying not to sneeze. Oh. All righty. And uh, the, the first PDA log, I believe, is Aliens by Elliot. And my reasoning for that is the Mercury 2 is still in space. They're still uh, mobile. They're, everything's cool. There's no threat. There's no harm. There's no worry. There's curiosity, optimism, and excitement, and there's no damage to the ship. So I believe that's the start 
and when I get into my next video, that's the 